1959, Elaine's or Mary's parents offered them 10,000 now or in a few years time explain why they should take the money now well we know based on interest i think it's always nice when you're asked to explain something to show some maths if we have an interest rate of one percent and if we divide ten thousand by 1.01 we're going to get an answer of nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine cent so that means if we invested nine thousand nine hundred today and ninety nine cent at a rate of one percent we would have 10,000 in a year's time. So it obviously makes sense to take the money now. Let's just do one more example. What about if the interest rate was 10%? 10,000 divided by 1.10. That's only 9090.90. Nice repetitious number. So if you invested 9,000 and 90 euros and 90 cent at 10% interest, in a year's time, you're going to have 10,000. So it makes a lot of sense to take the money now rather than waiting for a few years time part b they actually find an investment which pays eight percent which is really good per annum what's the equivalent monthly compound interest rate i think the nicest way to do these questions anytime you're going from yearly to monthly there's 12 months in a year obviously so we just take our one point whatever the interest rate is and raise it to the power of one over 12. if it was weekly it'd be one over 52 and we write our answer out as one Point zero zero. This will be one percent if that was a one six four three four zero oh, three. So that's the starting point of the interest. You can use the one minus formula here, but I think this is a nice way to visualize it. So zero point six four three four zero oh, three will be the monthly interest rate for eight percent AER. And we're asking this question rounded to four decimal places. Read the question carefully. So 0 0.6434. Part D of this question, we're told that they start saving. At the end of each month, I've written in red, it's really important. So if we imagine that at the end of this, the very, very last payment, on the last day of the month, they put money in, and the very next day they take it out. So, or we're asked to calculate what they'd have the next day, it means that there's no interest payment on that payment. So if we write these payments out, that last one, let's do that one first. Um, that's going to be the 500 they put it in next day how much is it worth it's still worth 500 there's no overnight interest rate and then we're going to have to have another uh, we're talking about 1.006434 was the interest and that'll be to the power of 1 plus 1.500 by 1.006434 to the power of 2 and then the last payment now 5 by 60, there's 5 years. 5 by 12 is 60. So there's 60 terms in the sequence. So this is term 1, term 2. So the last term will be 500 by 1.006434 to the power of 59. Now, it doesn't change n. n is still 60, the number of terms in the sequence. We can see this is a geometric sequence like the previous question. So a is equal to 500. My ratio is 1.006434, and my n is equal to 60. So, so always set these up as a geometric sequence, and then just use your calculator after you fill it in. So the sum of n payments, or the sum of 60 payments, is a, you've proved it already, 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. So the sum of 60 payments, 500 by 1 minus 1 1.006434 to the power of 60 divided by 1 minus 1 1.006434 and typing this into our calculator I'd always recommend typing it in twice just in case so the first time we're getting 36472.5 I'll just double check that so we can confirm this is the answer always check it twice the last part of this question we're told that they're also saving to buy a car they want five thousand in their account so that five thousand is the sum of my end payments so what we don't know in this case is the amount that they need to save and the same annual equivalent rate so we're looking for a in this case and the rate is the same 
1.00 and we'll do it again six four three four six four three four so sn five thousand is equal to a times one minus one point zero zero six four three four just let's check it was i didn't write it down it was actually three years they want it in three years so n is 36 to the power of 36 over 1 minus 1.006434 so let's just check what this gives us so on the right hand side we're going to get a times 40.36 travel 5 40.36555 and there's a 797 and we'll include them all we don't probably don't need that many it won't affect it too much so a is going to be 5000 divided by the number on the right a turns out to be 123.867 so 123.87 the bank will want they're not going to round off fairly for you so that's the answer to the last part of the financial maths question